Anzac Day. Historic racism hides the true extent of Chinese soldiers and Aboriginal soldiers' legacy. History says. Forgotten for decades, there are calls for the stories of Chinese Anzacs and Aborigines to receive wider recognition as part of the broader Australian wartime narrative. In the past few years, the descendants of Chinese Australian soldiers and Aboriginal soldiers have made a concerted effort to keep alive and spread stories of their heroism, educating the wide Australian community about their contribution. There were at least 213 Chinese Australians and over 500 Aboriginal soldiers who enlisted in World War I and potentially many more in World War II. However, nobody knows exactly how many there were, due to Australia's race-based enlistment policies at the time. There were race requirements for entering the armed services during the World Wars. Historian Mila Hampton from the Australian War Memorial told the ABC they needed to be substantially of European origin. And if you met that requirement, or you could fudge that requirement, you were in. The enforcement of these rules came down to how European a would-be soldier appeared in the eyes of the man, taking down his enlistment. But Dr. Hampton said their assessments became more lax as the need for soldiers grew. When they started getting very desperate for men, they started seeing whiter and whiter people, I guess, she said. Certainly in the First World War, there's evidence of men with very overtly Chinese surnames, like Wong, who are accepted for services, because they have European ancestry as well. Wellington Lee, 93, a fourth-generation Chinese-Australian veteran of World War II, and a former Deputy Lord Mayor of Melbourne, said servicemen like him had a measure of anonymity in the military, but that this was a mixed blessing. One of the good things, but also a bad thing, was we were never recognised. That was good in that we were just Australian citizens in the military, he said. The bad thing was, they tended to ignore us, particularly those really notable Chinese military men, he said. Mr. Lee cited the example of Billy Singh. Who is Billy Singh? Despite metal, soldiers remain forgotten. William Billy Singh was re-earned for his abilities as a sniper, shooting a confirmed 150 Turkish soldiers in World War I. Mr. Lee cited the example of Billy Singh, a World War I sniper who served at the Gallipoli and later in France. Singh was a noted marksman who was reported to have shot more than 200 enemy soldiers at Gallipoli and received a Distinguished Conduct Medal for his service among other honours. At least Ch 19 Chinese Australians received bravery awards during World War I. The Chinese Museum in Melbourne says Singh had numerous nicknames, including the Assassin, the Murderer, and Crackshot of the Anzacs. But, during the return home, the White Australia policy treated her father and him as a foreign, foreigner and an enemy, and resulted in her mother's citizenship being revoked. Singh should have got the Victoria Cross, even two Victoria Crosses, and yet he got a lowly British Empire medal. He died a pauper. Today, if you ask the average Australian who is Billy Singh, they wouldn't even know. Mr. Lee said he believed this lack of acknowledgement for Chinese Australian soldiers came down to pure racism and discrimination, an issue he personally experienced in his military career. I know that when I went to join the Navy, they wouldn't accept me, he said. Later after the war, because I came to know many of the admirals because of my involvement in the community, I found out that in the naval status, recruits were only acceptable of European descent. Mr. Lee said this was shocking to him when he found out, 
and while he went to went on to serve in the Air Force, he said it was still difficult to enlist outside the Navy. Even the Army and the Air Force at the initial stage of the war didn't want anyone apart from pure white Anglo-Saxons. This is disgusting. You know, I attended the Anzac memorials this morning and I only just discovered this. Ugh, this is absolutely disgusting.